I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she What's might turn y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i am back again with another motherfucking video all right so today this video is sponsored by rose forever new york all right they gave me this beautiful roses i love this came with a little case i never even take it out and it comes with instructions it's super cute and they're white roses all right this is so beautiful all right and there's a promotion code right under this video okay it's like a little storage bin but it also is hella cute and you can put it on your glass table or just anywhere around the house okay so there's a promotion code right under this video so please check it out okay endorsements are coming all right okay scorpios let's get into it let's see where we going today what we doing i do want to start off with self-care okay because my mondays are my days off and these are the days that i just worry about me you know worry about what i want what i want what i want is what i want all right, so let's see what Scorpio needs. Okay, that was quick. All right, so Scorpio, y'all need to work on your rituals, okay? There's something that you need to do every week that's focused or geared towards your own self-care, whether that be, you know, you putting a little bit of money aside to get your hair deep conditioned, okay? Or if you're a dude, you got to put a little bit of money aside to get that hair tightened up, edged up, whatever, okay? Um, but these rituals are really important. Grooming rituals are one thing, but even if you're a dude, you need to have a bamboo plant in your house in your room okay you can feng shui it so it can look very masculine but a bamboo plant is very masculine and it requires low maintenance now this plant will also purify the air in your house it will also bring money into your life okay depending on what corner that you put it into your in your um life and i'll tell you more so about that as a member there's certain places in your house that you need to put plants um because they bring in energy once in there in that corner okay um, and even if you're a man, you still need to have plants. Don't buy fake ass plants from Target. You know, you all women love going to Target. Y'all cannot stand going to the store. Yesterday I went out. I don't know why. I don't know why. Because I'm working a week. <laughs> and um, I don't work in the week. And it was just the ridiculous lines. I'm like, I'm not fucking dealing with this shit, okay? So, Scorpio, you may have taken a break from your rituals. You got to get back to that, okay? Because rituals are just like brushing your teeth. Stay steady. Sorry, steady yourself with simple rituals. Do the dishes, fold the laundry, water the plants, make a cup of tea, and listen and let wisdom sneak upon you. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Some of y'all rituals don't even have to be like that. You you know say no no ring. You know it don't got to be all that. Rituals could just be that every Monday we're cleaning up the house, we're getting things organized because these rituals do amplify if you get money or not. If your whole room is junky, if your clothes are all junky, if they all stink, if you don't have nothing going, you pulling shit out the hamper. That is disruption. That is chaos. Okay and um also scorpio you have somebody who's who could be laughing at you now but they ass gonna cry later okay there's definitely somebody who thinks they're coming upon you okay they think they're getting you but in the end in the end the joke's gonna be on them it says just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance make your life a drama free zone so you got somebody who's a motherfucking clown i'm talking about a1 stage performance okay this bitch is super hella dramatic but she gonna get what the fuck she got coming to her and if this is a feminine masculine energy he's gonna get what he got coming to them a lot of people in this this year don't really know a lot of people who are very low vibrational this is not a year to bring on a fight so if somebody brings some fight to you or bring papers or bring anything to you in this year they will lose okay traumatically and it's not even because you know anything other than karma it's all about what you did to the person and this is the year of karma so when you have all this gusto you think you finna get something 
and you've been nasty, you've been stalking, you've been doing all this different stuff, you're really going to see, you know, how the universe is really going to teach your motherfucking ass, all right? Somebody is not going to even be able to breathe, okay? Because remember, rituals was here in reverse. So this is somebody who doesn't do rituals. This is somebody who, you know, may live in a lot of chaos. But whatever the fuck you're going to do to this person, because you're in so much peace, Scorpio, is going to punch this nigga in the chest, okay? Or punch this female in the chest. She ain't going to be able to breathe, okay? This could be some toxic feminine energy all right now scorpio you have your priorities in place so there could be something that you have to put together and you have to go through a timeline you need to be very detailed about this timeline because only the facts matter okay period so this month you need to prioritize yourself you need to prioritize your peace and you need to prioritize your rituals because that's really important. Some of y'all rituals are very minute because at this time, you just need to ba balance the bases. Clean your motherfucking car. Clean your motherfucking house, okay? Clean your motherfucking shit. Good girl slash gone power. The ability to stick up, to stick it up is not a superpower. Saying no is own your power okay so some of you guys who y'all feel like y'all a good girl or a good boy you know you think that your superpower is like oh i'll be there no your superpower is telling the nigga hell nah hell nah okay i don't know why y'all went to go see color purple okay but one thing i can tell you is taji and i know i'm saying her name wrong told you that you have to open up your chakras to be in these actors roles and some of these actors roles is not the best roles to be in okay and she says that all right that's why i don't watch those movies and y'all shouldn't be going out and watching those movies especially if you're african-american black male okay it, it don't even matter what sex race you are okay sex or race you don't need to be going to that movie and watching it and the reason that i'm saying that is because it invokes so many spirits in you that are dormant and it activates those spirits y'all don't understand what's happening with entertainment and tv okay but they are starting to tell you and they will tell you by the end of the year okay so you know if you went great but if you didn't like save your save your mind the the bullshit okay put put good things in your mind don't pay for bad things to be in your mind because y'all paying for them people to rape little kids our kids at that not my kids but just kids you know nobody's kids but somebody's kids you get what i'm saying okay <laughs> okay y'all so look Somebody is not going to be able to breathe, but you're going to be in peace. This is somebody who don't do no rituals, okay? This also could be somebody who stalks you and watches you, but you got a lot of priorities this month. You could be living a very easy month this week. You could be getting paid for a lot of different things, but coasting, okay? Uh, somebody look at you as a good girl, but they know that you don't treat them the same, okay? Or you're not a good girl to this person no more. Or a good boy. The song for today is... Ooh, a walking trophy. So Scorpio, goddamn, you could be Caribbean or uh, from the Caribbean. You could be Haitian. All right. Also, you could be Guyanese. You also could be Indian. I know Indian people don't feel like they, don't, they ain't got really nothing to do with us, but y'all really do. And when you speak, your accent is a heavy slur, just like you may speak Carrie Patois in your voice. But nonetheless, you could love reggae music, okay? It says, I take you to LA. We go shopping for the day. I'm spending it all on you, girl. Spending it all on you anyway dance hall vibes dance all the night my crib close by and we could go like hood girl tell me it's all a go for tonight baby girl you got the glow and the lights okay so somebody just feel like you a walking trophy wherever you go it's lights it's camera it's action okay and it's a lot of stage so somebody could have been in plays in high school somebody could have been in like you know I, I, I also heard somebody was in ROTC in high school, okay? But yeah, somebody could have been in plays in high school. They could have been acting. They could have went like uh, DSA or the Performance School of Arts or something. Somebody who's watching me right now could have went to DSA. I wonder if it's my friend shit. Okay, so there is beauty in living in less. So Scorpio, you live in less. And people don't even feel like that. They feel like you live in Gucci and gold, okay? But in actuality, you might not even like Gucci. You know what I'm saying? And you might not even like gold neither. You might be a silver type for person. And I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm just saying is that you're very practical, okay? When you got money, you know where to put it. And when you don't got money, you know how to shut the fuck up and eat a tuna sandwich or eat some crackers or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't have to be broadcasted about what's going on. So this week, embrace your beauty of living with less by reframing from buying things you really don't need and it's so funny y'all because yesterday i tried to go to the store give me a little candle i'm like man i ain't staying in no store for forty-five thousand people so 
I feel like Scorpio, you're understanding that your dollar go a long way. If you want to spend any dollar, I always reiterate y'all buy Bitcoin. Some of y'all be like, oh, it's going down. Don't be fooled, bruh. It's going down because a lot of people wasn't able. A lot of big sharks, big money sharks. Just because you see 45K, it's billions of dollars going into here. And they're printing the money and sending it over there so they can have a head start. So that your start will be a little bit further behind. I'm trying to educate y'all. I'm trying to let y'all know what's happening for your before your very eyes. Okay, so maybe this means packing your own lunch this week, fixing something instead of replacing it, donating items you no longer use, or avoiding online shopping for a few days. How can you embrace beauty of living with less in other parts of your life, Scorpio? So if you're somebody who eat out a lot, don't eat out this week. Try to get you some food. Try to make some stuff, okay? Um, do what you can do to make sure your shit is right, okay? But Spirit is telling you don't eat out a lot. Some of y'all could be eating out hella a lot. You know, some of y'all don't miss a meal. You go, like, I need five meals. You don't need five? Shit. You can just need one. And you need a lot of fruit. Okay, damn. Scorpio, like I said before, money is coming to you. Help is on the way. Okay? Okay, so abundance is on its way to you. This came out in the upright, so you do got a large sum of money coming in. I have been saying that. Okay, and this is after a strong recovery. Okay, so you had to recover from somebody. Or you had to distance yourself. And when you did, you lived less, okay? You lived less in that person's atmosphere. You lived less in, you know, materialistic goods, okay? And because of that, abundance falls falls upon you because you're wise with your money, all right? I love you, Scorpios. Have a good day. Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Oh. And they rule by planet Mars. They stay determined and don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fiction. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kind of controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen all you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you